Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Kitty! 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 Whoa! What were you doing inside the pond? Hiding! Oh dear! It's not only too harmful, but also impossible to be inside water for a longer time, as water is not a suitable habitat for mammals like Kitty. Habitat? Yes. Hey friends, in today's episode, let me explain the classification of animals based on their habitats. Zoom in! So, what is a habitat? A habitat is a natural home or an environment that provides favorable surroundings for some particular animal species by fulfilling their basic necessities like food, water and most importantly, a place to live. But as these habitats are different for every animal, they are classified into various types. So, let's dwell on more details starting from the terrestrial animals. The word terrestrial comes from the Latin terra, meaning earth or land. And the animals that live on land are known as terrestrial animals. Some good examples are lions, dogs, cats, etc. Most of them generally have four legs to walk on earth and have well-developed organs. But being a terrestrial animal doesn't mean one cannot go into the water at all. It merely means one can't live in an aquatic environment as the only habitat. And what's the aquatic environment? Well, to know that, let us dive inside the water bodies that act as a shelter for animals living in it. And these animals living inside the water are called aquatic animals. Right from giant creatures like whales, sharks, dolphins to small fishes such as sea snails, crabs, lobsters, etc. are good examples of animals living in the water. But we all know the real challenge to survive underwater is breathing. And to do so, many marine animals like fishes have special respiratory organs called gills that extract dissolved oxygen from water and excrete carbon dioxide. And those who do not possess special organs to breathe underwater for a long time, nature has given them a remarkable ability to survive both on land as well as in water. And they are known as the amphibians. Yes, cold-blooded animals like toads, frogs, salamanders belong to the class of amphibians. For amphibians, the threat could come from anywhere. So, to protect themselves, some species pretend to be dead while some create awful odor to defend themselves from the predators. Now, that's some wise tactics. But do you know what's wiser? It is to stay away from danger in the first place. And who can understand this better than our next class of animals we called arboreal animals? Yes, as most predators roam on the surface of the land, some wise animals have chosen to spend most of their time on trees, giving them the title of arboreal animals. These classes of animals are known to perform most of their activities on tree canopies, like eating, sleeping, playing, etc. 
Some examples of arboreal animals include monkeys, chameleons, koalas. And as these animals primarily depend on fruits, leaves, seeds, flowers, etc., they generally don't feel the need to walk on land and risk their lives. But unfortunately, they aren't entirely safe on trees and often fall prey to many predators like pythons, cheetahs, and giant aerial animals. And who are they? Well, it is a class of animals who have the ability to fly high in the sky. Yes, animals which spend most of their time in the air are called aerial animals. The majority of birds, bats, flying squirrel and also many insects belong to this class. Trivia time! Did you know the word amphibian is Greek for both kinds of life? Also, amphibians are considered vertebrates as they have a backbone. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.